Our reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, you have not approached that which could be touched in a blazing fire and gloomy darkness and storm in a trumpet blast, in a voice speaking words such that those who heard begged that no message be further addressed to them. Indeed, so fearful was the spectacle, spectacle that Moses said, I am terrified and trembling. No, you have approached Mount Zion and the city of the living God, heavenly Jerusalem, and countless angels in festal gathering, and the assembly of the firstborn enrolled in heaven, and God, the judge of all, and the spirits of the just just made perfect, and Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and the sprinkled blood that speaks more eloquently than that of Abel. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. Great is the Lord and holy be to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, the city of the great king, God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. As we had heard, so we have seen, in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God makes it firm forever. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. As your name, O oh God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of justice, your right hand is full. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you live there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, live there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons and they anointed with the oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Upon sending out the twelve to fulfill their mission, Jesus gave them a series of prohibitions, as we heard in the Gospel. They were not to take anything for the journey, no bread or wallet or copper coin in their belts, etc. These prohibitions mean that the mark of a Christian disciple is utter simplicity, 
complete trust in the Lord and the detachment from any distraction. Taking too many possessions along can be a cause of distractions from the ministry. That's why we priests uh, do not own awfully expensive cars or mansions or fashionable clothes. But of course, we need some money in order to survive and perform well our ministry. Uh, little money for gas, for instance, for food and day-to-day -day needs. And for this reason, I would like to I thank those who always consider uh, enclosing a dollar note when sending a birthday card or a Christmas card to a priest. May God reward you for this. Then the gospel continues. They went out and heralded forth the summons to repentance, and they cast out many demons, and anointed many sick people with the oil and healed them. The central theme of their proclamation was repentance. Repentance means the change of mind and the change of heart and action. This was the central focus of their proclamation or preaching, meaning that repentance is the most important thing in our Christian life. True repentance consists not only a change from, let's say, theft, robbery, adultery, abortion, gossip, or lustful desires, etc., but from life that is completely selfish instinctively demanding, totally inconsiderate, a change from self-centered to God-centered life. A change like that hurts. It's, it hurts. It is hard. Repentance is not sentimental feeling, a feeling sorry, but repentance is a revolutionary thing. And that's why repentance is one of the most difficult tasks of our confession, the most difficult part of our confession. May Jesus create in us sincere hearts of repentance that we may totally renounce our body habits and embrace the virtues that will make us his beloved sons and daughters. May God bless you. Amen. As we approach our Heavenly Father, we do so in confidence that He will hear our prayers. For all missionaries sent out to preach the gospel, may God be their leader and their guide. We pray to the Lord. Lord For word leaders, may God bless their work to bring peace and justice to their nations. We pray to the Lord. For people who are terminally or chronically ill, especially COVID patients, may God grant them peace and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord For this community of worship, may God bless the efforts of those who teach the faith to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have died, especially Dusan, Potikonjak, for whom this Mass is offered, may they find their eternal home in the city of the living God. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the special and personal petitions that we present in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, we approach you with confidence, knowing that you hear our prayers and always desire what is best for us. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with the exhortation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and his assistant Bishop, and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior is commanded and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it to you, apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and the gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day. Thank you.